the Ozzer here. Pampered bees, the Ozzer style. It's just under 65 degrees today. 18th of March, 2015. We will have, they'll be under 50 degrees tomorrow. And with that in mind, bees do not go out if it's under 50 degrees, 50 degrees, because they can't. They, they become very mobile. And will die if they are in an environment where they are 50 degrees or colder. Inside the hive, they cluster and keep themselves warm by unlocking their wings and shivering, shaking their wings. And the shiver and the shivering causes generates heat. The hive clusters rotates inward to outward, dissipating this heat from this shimmering shivering that they do. Whenever they're trying to keep the core warm. I realize that this is not the best place for the Oz Station sugar water feeders. So I'm going to relocate these, this Oz Station sugar water feeder station over to the left here. I have a three gallon and two one and a half gallon containers. Uh, they're were meant to be used for watering dogs. I take those like I take these, put some rock in the bowl, and voila, you have bee sugar water feeders. Pretty incredible how that works. And because I can see golden Italians lift here, and take off and go to wing. They lift up here and then shoot west. You can see them lift about, oh, eight feet right above the sunflower stalks and then shoot off west toward a farm that's over there. So we have all kinds of bees in this area. Of my pure cane sugar sugar water feeders. Remember to always use pure cane sugar made with sugar cane, not sugar beets. Don't use pure sugar, that's misleading. Use pure cane sugar made with sugar cane. For your girl's sugar water. If you love them, if you want to keep them healthy. I mean, what would be a bee vid, one of my bee vids, without me sticking my big nose right in the middle of all these bees? I'm not saying do this. But bees are bees. They're not vicious behemoths, little insects. I've, I've found that even wasps you can deal with at the sugar water feeder. They are, I'm wondering, these girls could care less I'm here. I mean, I'm getting in the way of them landing and stuff like that, but beyond that, I'm not a problem to them. I will say this though, I was studying up on pheromones, and pheromones are interesting. Pheromo pheromones are not odors, scents, aromas, smells. There are chemical communicated products that uh, bees can sense past sense of smell and things like that to their antennae, they sense things. Mm -hmm. I've also come, you know, one of the pheromones that uh, they interact with other mm -hmm. bees with to know of problems is the sting pheromone. 
when a bee stings something, it instantly releases this pheromone. But when that happens, part of what happens is that bee releases through that a pheromone that smells like what we equate to bananas. When you're with your bees, and if you're doing silly things like this, don't eat a banana before you do that. I'm serious. It will be misunderstood, and you can get in trouble because of that, because of pheromones. Bees can communicate on this deep, deep level. And pheromones is part of that. And tomorrow's gonna be real cold, only a high of around 45 with heavy rain, or at least steady rain, for our forecast in this area. Unusual for us to receive rain, so we always welcome it with open, with open arms. Semi-arid environment Pikes Peak region is known for. It's great to live in, but the rain, I mean, you know, we need rain like everyone else does. The Ozzer, Bamber Bees, the Ozzer's Dial. Load beans.